Hey guys, welcome to StephanHerniak.com. This is the first video blog. We are sitting in the Vancouver airport. It's one o'clock in the morning and we are getting ready to fly to Hong Kong and then Singapore. Our flight leaves at 2.45 and uh, it's late and I'm tired. And Alexa is trying to keep me awake, but it's not working. So. <laughs> It's going to be an awesome trip. I'm sure a lot of you have heard the things in the news about Delhi and the living conditions not being prepared. And um, we trust that the Canadian Commonwealth Games Committee will make everything safe for us and make sure that um, everything is good before we get there. We're in Singapore until the 30th at the Singapore School of Sport, where we'll be training and living and getting ready to race and then we have a flight over to Delhi on the 30th. So I'm gonna keep everybody updated as much as possible on what's going on in Delhi and uh, the preparation into the meet. Thanks for checking out the site. We're gonna grab a couple words with Alexa and uh, look forward to a nice little 12 hour flight coming up. Take care. We've got Alexa Kormanicki here member of the uh, 2010 Commonwealth Games team for Canada. Alexa, what, what are you most excited about going to Singapore and Delhi? I don't know. I am excited to swim fast and for everybody to all be there together and it will be a fun experience. And I'm just excited, I'll be excited if the games actually happen. <laughs> yeah, me too. That? Of course you can. What, what, uh, how have you felt about your swimming in the last couple weeks and the weird time between Pan Packs and Commonwealths? Uh, it's definitely different, but different is good sometimes because then you don't know what to expect and I've been training really fast, so I'm excited to swim super fast. Good. Guys, here we go. We got Bruce Pinnell. He's our sports psychologist with the team coming into Commonwealth Games. Bruce, what's the biggest challenge uh, with a team like this going into a, a place where uh, we've heard a lot of negative press and a lot of th bad things going on in the media. Um, how do you concentrate on performance? Uh, one of the biggest challenges will be just that is to, is to I guess, basically pare it down to keep it simple and recognizing that a 50 meter pool is a 50 meter pool. And whether it's bad weather, good weather, uh, good food, bad food, when you get to the water it's equal for all the competitors. Everyone's in the same situation so let's just race. What's, uh, what's your role with the team on trips like this? Uh, my role is quite, uh, it's quite diverse. A lot of it's obviously the focus is around performance, uh, primarily with the athletes, but I do spend quite a bit of work with the coaching staff and the medical staff as well. Just, just as a lot, of, a lot of anxiety, a lot of pressure, a lot of, I say, a charged environment around. Everyone's under pressure, everyone wants to perform, and sometimes little things that, um, in the meet that doesn't matter or they're just your weekly training that which really matter. Uh, suddenly become a big issue in an event like this yeah. uh, because of the pressure. So my job is to help uh, keep it simple, to help people not overreact, and to um, and to really keep a performance-based decision-making model in place. Great. Thanks a lot, Bruce. We'll see you on the plane. No problem. Thanks. We're back here uh, on the plane. We're about to take off. It's 2:45 in the morning. I got my good buddy Blake right next to me. We love taking long flights together. It's really awesome. And uh, I'm gonna go to sleep now. See you in a couple hours. You can see out the window we are about to land in Hong Kong. It's been a long flight. But uh, got about eight hours of sleep. And now we have a little bit of a layover before we uh, take off to Singapore. So uh, it's been a pretty, pretty easy flight. There was a lot of turbulence in the beginning. But we're down.
guys, we uh, got to Singapore. We are here in the dorms at the Singapore Sports School. Um, been traveling for about 24 hours. It's been a long day. It's uh, 2.45, September 25th. We basically missed September 24th. And uh, we just had lunch. And we're getting ready to get in the water and then hopefully pass out for a good night's sleep. So. Hope everybody enjoys the first video blog and I will uh, come back with a new one in a few days. Thanks for checking out the site.